Yesterday's Apple event was both the beginning and end of an era for the iMac. Ever since the original, Bondi Blue, G3 iMac, Apple's considered RAM a, user-replaceable part. While the majority of the iMac's internals required dismantling the iMac to access, RAM sat behind an easily opened hatch, allowing users to make their own upgrades. And it was smart to do so. Buying RAM upgrades from Apple at the time of purchase was an expensive affair, requiring as much as $1,000 more just to max out the system. It just didn't make sense when faster, larger upgrades could be had from resellers like OWC for half the price. That's all changed with Apple's new system on a chip, SOC, architecture. The M1 chip combines the discrete CPU, GPU, RAM, and SSD components, pictured above, into a single piece of silicone that's soldered onto the logic board, pictured below. For those who like to tinker with their hardware, this is pretty much the worst possible news. With everything on a single chip, you're no longer able to make any changes to your iMac configuration outside of your initial order. Whatever you choose, that's it for the life of the device. As someone who falls into that category, I expected to be more upset at the change. But the more I research the new M1 chip and how it's performed in the new MacBook Pro and Mac Mini, the less concerned I was. Traditional thinking has always said, add as much RAM as you can afford. RAM is a system's short-term memory and having lots of it means you can do more and larger tasks simultaneously without slowing things down. Having everything on a single chip changes that fundamentally. The M1 chip can dynamically use whatever it needs, from whichever component it needs, instantaneously. There's no memory swapping or rewriting of data between your RAM and SSD. The CPU and GPU aren't both trying to access data pathways on the logic board. Everything just works together and borrows processing from each other as needed. Reviews of the first M1 systems, the MacBook Pro and Mac Mini, show that Apple has finally been able to create a system with a base of 8GB of RAM that not only performs well but outperforms previous systems with twice as much RAM, also, it's called, unified memory, now. However, if you're editing large 4K videos or doing other extremely intensive tasks, you might benefit from additional unified memory in your system. You can upgrade to 16 gigabytes for a measly $200. This number is far from the wallet blistering Apple tax that upgraders used to pay for factory RAM. With a unified memory upgrade being so cheap, you might wonder why I'd recommend not spending the money. For most users 8 gigabytes is going to be more than enough for day-to-day -day computing tasks. If you have the money, there's no reason to not upgrade. But your money could be spent better elsewhere.